Greetings loyal subscribers and honoured guests. Um, so this is going to be a very quick part two, um, week two of um, JRP, Juli JRP July 2022 where I'm still playing Nostalgia. Um, I, I, I've only put about six hours in this week, slightly less than last week, um, but I think I am about halfway through the main story. I've just got to the point where you get your airship upgrade which lets you fly at high altitude and essentially that means that I can um, zip around any of the places I've already been to really quickly. Um, the only thing is that um, there's a risk of you getting attacked by um, strong monsters at high altitude but you can mitigate that by having a stock of an item that lets you escape 100% of the time so I've just bought up a load of those and I can use them if I need to. This is one of the optional dungeons that I've just done. Uh, I can't pronounce it, it's Teotihuacan or something like that. It's a sort of Aztec ruin I think um, near, um, near New York. So yeah this was Eddie's side quest and each of the four main characters plus Mr Evans has got a side quest that you can go on. And I've done done Mr. Evans, I've done Eddie, and I've done Pad. So I've got Melody and Fiona left to do. Uh, aside from that, there's another side dungeon called the Dungeon of Lemuria, which I've sort of accidentally skipped over. So I'm going to go back and do that. Um, Level-wise, I think I'm all about level 35, um, where I ended up recently. Um, and I'm at the point in the main story now, I'm just about to go and do um, El Dorado, the City of Gold. So um, I haven't got too much of the main story left to do but there's a whole ton of side content um, and I'll make my mind up whether I want to explore the post game when I get there because you have to be sort of level 60 to even start exploring the post game dungeons I think so I might have had enough of it by then but um, at the moment I am quite enjoying it but um, the only thing criticism I could level at it is most of the bosses can be defeated with the exact same strategy which is to um, increase the damage of Pad and Eddie um, using Eddie's um, technique and then just keep attacking with um, combo attacks from Eddie which do a whole ton of damage and then heal as necessary with um, Fiona. So. They could have, could have varied that up a little bit. Um, a couple of the side quests have made use of the um, airship battles recently and they've been more interesting. So, um, yeah, it's not the greatest JRPG I've ever played, I don't think. Um, it certainly doesn't match up to Skies of Arcadia, like I said last time. But um, I'm enjoying it enough to see it through. I quite like the story. Um, the writing is patchy in places but for the most part it's pretty decent I think so yeah um, so that's part two really um, not not as much to say this time but um, I'll try and um, put some hours in again this week and then I'll be back um, with part three it might just be a, a very short update or I might have um, made some more dis significant um, progress and discoveries with the game but um, yeah um, it's been good playing it on the, the Wii U um, would you just have the the occasional bit of graphical corruption in the overworld sometimes but um, that's not all the time it just happens at random sometimes and you, you can usually fix it by changing the altitude of the airship but anyway um, thanks for watching this brief video um, let me know in the comments if you are taking part in JRPG at July yourself and what you're playing or if you've got videos um, on your channel to, um, that I could go and watch. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. And in the meantime, take care. <laughs>